now from South Seminole Academy in Castleberry, Florida. Direct from the third floor of building number three, this is South Seminole News. Good morning, Hurricanes. Happy Wednesday. I'm Nayada. And I'm Cameron. It's December 15, 2021. Welcome to the South Seminole News. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Let's check in with Grace for the Daily Report. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, everyone. Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 78 degrees. Reminder, if you take any photos of yourself this school year, please send them to us at South Seminole News at yahoo.com so that we can put them on the news. Later in the show, we will tell you about student and the teacher of the month, so please stay tuned. Now let's take you to the South Seminole Lounge for the lunch report. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. Today's lunch special is the new 100% all-beef hot dog. All meals include fruit, vegetables, milk, or juice. Attention students, later in the show we will have some news about Crooms Fest 2022. Stay tuned for this information. If you or your class would like to record anything here in the South Summa Lounge, please contact the newsroom. You can find the Friday afternoon show during 8th period at 3.10 p.m. on our YouTube page. We'll see you next time. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks. Any students interested in nominating someone for Teacher of the Month, click on this QR code and fill out the form. The, st the teacher of the month will win a pr special prize and also a parking spot in front of the school for that month. Students, students, this is your chance to tell everybody about a teacher that you think should be recognized. We're going to take a, a commercial break. When we come back, we'll tell you about the JROTC Lake Howell, Lake Howell High School Tour. We'll be right back after this. From the creators of Elf on the Shelf, South Seminole Academy presents Elf in the Courtyard. Can you spot the elf? Congratulations, you found the elf. Happy Holidays from South Seminole Academy. I'm Mr. Cudney, and I'm starting a brand new club slash academy next year called the Commander Club. You're probably asking yourself, what exactly is Commander? Well, it's a multiplayer Magic the Gathering variant where you battle it out with up to three additional opponents. Each of you will have a deck built around a powerful legendary creature that you'll have access to at all times. Your decks will be restricted to only the colors in your Commander's color identity. And last but not least, you'll start with 40 life rather than just 20, which leads to longer, more exciting games. If you're a 6th or 7th grader interested in joining, please scan the QR code or simply type in the code at the bottom of the screen to take the interest survey. I'm Mr. Cutney saying don't forget to storm and good game. Today's South Seminole Math Fact. Clever puppies can do tricks. Seven times eight is 56. This has been today's South Seminole Math Fact. Welcome back. A reminder to all JROTC students, please wear your combat uniform on Tuesday and Wednesday and your PT uniform on Thursday and Friday. And speaking of JROTC, they, will, they were at the American Legion in Fern Park earlier, earlier this month. They presented the colors in commemoration of Pearl Harbor Day. The JROTC are now sponsored by the American Legion 130, 183 in Fern Park. Thank you to Mr. Bragg and the JROTC students for representing South Seminole Academy 
at this very special event, and thank you to Mr. Motley for taking photos for South Seminole News. A reminder, if anyone takes any school fo photos, send them to us at SouthSeminoleNews at Yahoo.com. Last week, Ms. DeRiala and her students hosted the Pay It Forward project for those students in Leadership Hall that signed up. The mini fitness and mindful class raised money so that will be donate, donated to the Seminole County Women's Shelter. Students were given a chance to learn about yoga and relaxation ex exercises from Ms. DeRiala and her instructors. Thank you to those students that participated in the program for do donating to the shelter. Also, last week, Ms. De Real visited the Zeta Pi Beta sorority, incorporated through their wellness journey using yoga and meditation with Ms. Ellerby. Ms. De Real explored this opportunity by opportunity by teaching approximately 30 finer ladies with virtual and in-person sessions. The experience was refreshing, and they are looking forward to their next se session. Thank you to Ms. De Real for helping others to sharpen the saw. Students and parents, there are many exciting opportunities for academic support available at SSA. Our academic tutorial is in full swing, providing after-school support in reading and math. Saturday boost camps are being organized to support our students in writing. Space is still available if you are interested in this opportunity. Use this link to sign up at tinyurl.com slash SSA writing. Any students interested in joining the Seminole County Middle School Football League, please click on this QR code. The 7-on-7 seven -seven Football League will have tryouts on January 8th at 9 a.m. at Lake Howell High School. These tryouts are for 6th, 7th, and 8th, 8th, 8th grade students. You must pre-register at the link here or use the QR code. Good luck, Hurricanes. On the next online leadership forum will be held today. The Leaders with Disabilities Leadership Forum will be at 6 p.m. and hosted by the South Seminole Academy PTSA. Please visit the tiny URL at the bottom to sign up. Attention Hurricanes, would you like to represent SSA in Atlanta, Georgia. This is the opportunity for you. The National Amazing Shake takes place March 4th through 6th in Atlanta. We will host the Hurricane Shake competition here at school in January. To select the finalists who can attend the Amazing Shake, Amazing Shake in Atlanta. During the Amazing Shake, students learn to learn and develop professional qualities from giving a proper handshake to how to work the room so that they are able to present themselves exceptionally well for opportunity, opportunities today and in the future. This contest also allows students to perform different skills through a fun and memorable experience and enables them to engage with local business leaders. If you would like to participate in the Hurricane Shake, please sign up in the cafeteria, front office, or via the QR, via the QR code all around campus by December 15th. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Reed or Ms. Coker. A message from Ms. Ellerby. She has selected students to help run the store starting in January. A few more students will be selected. If you are interested, please see her in room 240. Congratulations to these students up on the screen. Your training will begin on January 10th after school, and the store will open on Tuesday, January 18th. Attention all future high school students. If you are zoned for Lake Howell High School, you have an opportunity to visit the school Thursday, January 20th, 2022. Permission slips will be available when you return from winter break. If you are not zoned to Lake Howell, but you're interested in performing a program of business entrepreneurship or cybersecurity you may also attend. And finally today students attended students attended the 2021 SCPS Track and Field Championships last week and represented Seminole Academy at South Seminole Academy at Lake, Lake Mary High School. Congratulations to those students that performed at the event. If you took any photos or videos please send them to to us at SouthSeminoleNews at Yahoo.com. That's all for today. Make sure to check us out on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok at South Seminole News. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, please like the South Seminole Academy and PTSA Facebook pages for more info. And students, every day here at South Seminole Academy, we strive for success, take responsibility, ought to lead, respect others, and make good choices. Thanks for watching. I'm Cameron. And I'm Nayata. Remember, 7 times 8 equals 56. Have a great Wednesday, and don't, don't forget, forget to, to storm. storm.